Okay, I found it. The uh, the processor board that was uh, giving me trouble. It worked one time, and it, then uh, the day after it stopped working, along with a lot of other things. On the uh, 8080 board for number two, number two's original one. The uh, 74 LS, it's a 74 367. Went right off of the processor board, right next to it. The way I found that, set that good board next to this one. Use a common ground, which I used off of here. Then you just compare pins. Well, I compared this side, but I didn't bother comparing the other side. So I flipped it over, and it was that pin, that green, I've got tinted green. This one here is the one that was acting up. So I started pulling chips out one at a time and seeing when that would change the uh, measurement. It was darn near a, a dead short. So, pulling them out one by one, as soon as the value change, you can start there. And I pulled that one out. Well, I had this out, I had that out. Pulled the processor out. That's as far as I got, and then I yanked that one, and that's when it changed. So, so I dug up another 367, put it in there. Bang, fine. So, that's how I did it. That's how I do it. So that one's back in business. This is to be continued. It's 9.16. It's a Monday morning. First off, these two. These 801s. Uh, there's machine number three. I broke a switch off it. Somehow, when I hit it in the corner, switch is gone. I've got this temporary one down here. The problem seems to be I am missing my plus 18 volts. I'm getting three volts off the pin Just like that all the way across. I got my eight volts on the two top ones here. I got my minus 18. I also have pictures. This minus 18 circuit, they must have had a problem with it because they've got the jumper in between here and here and here. Yeah, the jumper between this one and this one. And as you can see, its front lights are all lit up too. And I also have I've got my terminal board in here. But even it's, it's not reading. It's, it's light is dead. So the boards, that's, it ran one day, and the following day, no. All the lights came on, and the thing stopped working, and that's when I started testing out number two. Yeah, this is three. If I, after this one started crapping out the 24 hours later, it's also the same one that popped the capacitor in the other machine. Uh, yeah, this is number three here. Number two, I'm, right now I'm doing the same thing I did to uh, this one. I'm switching boards out, trying to find out where the problem is. So far I have, I'm down to that. So that's an update for that one. I guess uh, I'm going to get a switch for it today. Uh, put the thing back together. The front's no big deal. It's 
So that's the update. This is my S100. I had to piece this together too. My scanner gave up, just sitting on the shelf. Don't even use it. HP. Last time I used it, it worked fine. Put it up in the shelf, two, three years later, I want to use it again. Doesn't work. Doesn't come on. I got voltage back to the circuits. So out the door it goes. I had another free HP, a more higher tech scanner. Plugged it in. Sat on, sat there waiting, did its little test and everything. It just would not, uh, you tell it to scan a copy, wouldn't do it. It just sit there and sit. On, ready, waiting. It would just sit there. So. That's the update. Well, here's number three. I got it running. I fixed the uh, the other's processor board so this one has its own back in it again. Problem is now was I give up on it. The 232k board, 0 to 32, 32 to 64. This 32 to 64k board. The longer it sits, the more the memory disappears. Whatever is in there, it just starts disappearing and it goes back to zero. The zero to 32K board works fine. Nice and clean in there. No errors that I can uh, say. I think there was one bit may have been bad, maybe. But this board here, 32 to 64, I've been through it. It's a revision uh, C board. This is a revision E board here. There are some slight differences. Uh, I got this off a line or online. It's in a, these are expand RAM boards, but this only goes up to revision B, which is close enough to the C. Uh, where I could do some checking, but I'm just not sure where in the heck to go for it, from here with this thing. So, I give up on it. I've got it disabled via these switches here. This is, yeah, this uh, memory protect. Here's the address switches the, uh, for the 8, 8 rows, 4, 6, 8. So that, I've got it addressed out. <clears throat> So we can sit in there, but it won't do no good. Memco digital analog board. I'm not really going to get into that. I don't know what the uh, the homebrew board was for. I've got its disk drive boards back in it. I've got its uh, prom board back in it. And here's his original processor board. So yeah, it uh, it will run if uh, these other boards are removed. I'm guessing it'll load a disk. No, re no real reason to load a disk in it. So, but it will run. Got a good processor board, good memory board, one at least. Turnkey board's good. I also had to take my uh, console, my terminal board, and put it in here to run the terminal and I had to remove all of them because they weren't needed. But yeah, for the most part it runs. All it needs now is software to turn the other stuff on and figure out where their terminal. I think this was their terminal, I think. Can't be sure. So I'm going to put it back on the shelf, leave some notes behind. That's number three. I'm going to get that out of the way. And by per chance, while repairing that one, I did manage to find the original proms that went in this one, the 1702s. So my next attempt is going to be 
put this one back the way it was. I had to dig up some 2102 memories, chips for it, but I found the original proms that came with this thing. I think they're MITS proms. That's the uh, latest update, and it is 923 of 2013. Hey, here's number two. I'm going to put the lid on it. I've got the original proms back in there, and they still work. The two on the left is our uh, disc copy proms, and they work. But you have to access them using the uh, Octal uh, address. The one on the right, far right, is a uh, bootloader, disc bootloader. It's at FF. Our uh, 377 uh, octal and the two on the left uh, started uh, C D F E C D F D started F D zero zero or three seven uh, four anyway that's the original ones the uh, Here's the 2708 board. Now the memory stops at 56K, which is where this board picks up. What I had, to, what I did, where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. What I did, this here is the uh, diagnostic program. This is for programming the things. This one here, I believe. Oh, that's F4. Yeah, this is the one. Here's the uh, one. Uh, I moved it from here. Uh, from the FC00. Where the other prom board is. So I can't have nothing in this slot. So I moved it from here over to here. Just uh, keep it handy. This is an original, an original, an original. For some reason, they're all empty. They're just filled with zeros. I don't think they got erased. I don't know. They may have gotten zapped somewhere along the line. But I have a copy. No, I don't have a copy of those. I was curious what was in them. So I just stuck them in there anyway, just in case... Uh, for some reference, I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. So that's found Vaseline works on these slides pretty good. So I got that there and silicone on the connectors. Turn it on. There it is. Reset. Reset. It also has its original uh, processor board in there. I got it fixed. I mentioned that or not. So uh, to access the uh, little disk program in those proms, uh, you go. Uh, that's a 374, 375. G, 375000. There. Now someone made this, copies from this one uh, to disk zero, run at address zero when ready. So what you do, you hit the reset button which it loaded itself at zero, that's all it did, move itself to zero. Then you go, uh, let's see, well we can do it this way, HD, zero, 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 to zero, that's only, I don't know how far we can go a little farther. See, that's that. It's really not quite that much. 
it just loads itself and uh, to 0200 zero, zero, zero. HD 002 zero, zero, zero. it's the same thing that's on voltages so that's the update it's 925 it's after midnight again so that's the look what I happen to find S100 bus modem 100 by Hayes now I don't know if that's a uh, 100 baud if it's a 300 baud had that thing laying around for some reason I don't know if I even tried it don't have no software for it so it's got a little box that goes with it Isn't that interesting? Come on, yo camera. Hmm. Well, what I did, this is 926, 2156. What I did, took out my uh, capacitor, like a filter, I took it out, took out my resistor just using the knob there's just too many variances between the two disk drives for some reason I still think it's all in that board but I did the mod on the disk uh, drive board one uh, it was uh, chip B3 pin 7 you cut that and jump it to uh, chip B5 pin 9. Apparently when running more than one disk drive with those boards, there was a problem reading two separate disks, disk drive. So I took a chance, jumpered it, uh, did their uh, modification, it don't care. This thing still uh, has a problem with these two discs. Slight variance of uh, voltage on the uh, strobe. Well, that's what that was supposed to fix. I don't know what to do about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to close the lid on this thing. And they're all going back on the shelf because they all work. I was trying to get words down on here. But oh, I can't get word star. That was WSSX. Um, um, v it was comes up with all of this out of order. So we'll exit. Look at this thing. They run for now. Until someday when someone turns it on and then smoke will emerge out of one thing or another. And that but that's another day.